everyone and welcome back. So happy to have you here today on my channel. Today we are doing a Pilates advanced flow. So it's gonna be challenging, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. This class is also open to anyone at any level. I encourage you to try it. If you need to take breaks at any point, you can always rest and just get back into the video when you're ready to go. But again, we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be great. When you're ready, we're gonna stay seated for this. So let's start facing whatever side you would like to. Once you're facing towards your side, let's keep our knees bent, feet flat on the mat, about a fist distance apart. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, looking forward. Arms are gonna stay forward in front of you, palms facing in. Take a big inhale. Exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Start to roll your spine down on the mat, one vertebra at a time. Let those arms go up and then pull that chin back to chest. Round your spine, use that core to pull you all the way up to a seated position. And again, round the spine, roll down from the lower back to the middle back, all the way to that upper back, and then curl the body. Don't use momentum, use the core as you sit up nice and tall. Good, and continue that movement, adding that same breath we've been working with. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can extend your legs all the way out in front of you and do the same movement through the upper body. If you wanna keep the knees bent, you can keep them bent as well. So just a couple different options. Find the progressions you wanna add. Let's hold those arms down by the side for now. Into our double leg stretch, I want you to take that left leg to a tabletop, right leg to a tabletop. Go ahead now, curl that chin up to your chest. Start with both hands underneath both those knees. Keep that body lifted and curled the whole time. Extend your leg straight out, reach the arms right by the ears. Circle those arms, pull the knees in, wrap it back where you started. So legs out, arms by the ears, circle the legs, bend the knees, pull it right back in. Try to keep those shoulder blades off the mat the whole time. And really exhale as the legs and arms go apart. Inhale as everything pulls back together. Rest your body, give yourself a quick little break here. We're gonna go into that 100 next. So same thing with the legs. Left leg to a tabletop, right leg to a tabletop. Curl that upper body, chin the chest, hold the body lifted, arms hovering over the mat. We're gonna pulse them up and down an inch. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, two, three, four. Keep those arms strong through the pulse. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can extend your legs straight out and hold it. If not, you can keep those knees bent the whole time in that tabletop. So again, add those progressions if you feel comfortable. Rest your upper body, lower the arms, lower the feet. Again, quick little break. We're gonna go into our corkscrew next. So for this corkscrew, keep both arms by your side on the mat, energy through the fingertips. We're gonna reach that left leg straight to the ceiling, right leg straight to the ceiling. Good, now from there, lift your hips, press them all the way up. 
Now take your legs over to the right direction a couple inches and then slowly roll down through your spine. Lower those legs nice and low at 45 degrees. Reach it up and we're gonna go to the other side. So up, take it now to the left side a couple inches. Melt all the way down. Lower the legs to 45 and just keep going from side to side. Good, lower yourself all the way down after that last rep. Beautiful, take a quick little rest. Beautiful, next we're gonna go into our scissors, but we're gonna keep a hip lift this time. So when you're ready, we're gonna start to rise both legs straight up. Now you're gonna lift your hips. You can take your hands right underneath or right behind your lower back. Now all you're gonna do is keep that right leg where it's at, lift the left leg straight up, and then switch your legs. Good, and switch. So staying up on those shoulder blades, keep that core engaged, nice straight legs through this movement. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want Lift the legs, slowly melt all the way down. Bend the knees, rest for a second. Now we're gonna continue our scissors, but we're gonna keep that upper body lifted for this one. So everyone take your left leg straight up, right leg straight up. Now curl that upper body, chin the chest. Both hands go behind the right thigh or calf. Now from here, lower the left leg straight down to 45. Keeping that upper body lifted to switch your legs with your hands. You switch and switch. Good. So body stays curled straight through those legs. Pull them in so you feel a little stretch behind the legs. Beautiful. Good work. Exhale in, inhale before you switch. Take those legs up, bend your knees, rest your body. Good, we're gonna keep both our feet on the mat for this next movement, so we're gonna do our bridging. So arms stay by the side. Keep your feet about a fist distance away, parallel position. All right, now start to roll all the way up into that high bridge, hold it there. Into our marching, left leg to a tabletop. Lower the left foot down. Right leg to a tabletop. Lower the foot down, and we're just gonna continue alternating from side to side. Keep the hips lifted, parallel position. Good.
Lower the foot down, slowly melt back onto the mat. All right, we're gonna roll over so now we're facing towards the front of the room. Lay all the way on your side. Your bottom arm could just be straight out with your head rested on top, or you can keep your head propped up with your hands. Now you're gonna have both knees bent in front of you. Nice and stacked to start. Take your hand on top of your hip, so you make sure those hips are stacked. And we're just gonna lift that top leg up, squeeze the glute, and then let it lower. So lift, squeeze. Let it melt down to hover over that bottom leg. Good, keep that oblique engaged, side body lifted. Lower that leg down, now extend that same leg out in front of you. Now we're gonna take it straight up, squeeze the glute, and let it lower straight down to hover over that bottom leg. So again, nice little lift, squeeze that side glute, let it lower. Good, lower that leg down. Now we're gonna add a circle with the same leg. So I'll make a little O with that toe. Keep it forward in front of you. Again, squeeze that glute. Nice small circle here. Good, still keep it lifted so it's hovering over that bottom leg. Lower that leg all the way down to feel that burn in the glute. From here, we're gonna extend both legs straight out. You're gonna bend that top leg forward. So now that foot is on the floor in front of that back leg. And all we're gonna do is lift that back leg up to squeeze the inner thigh. So we're gonna lift that right leg up, squeeze the inner thigh, let it lower to hover over that mat. Still stack through both hips. You can keep that top hand on the hip or forward in front of you on the mat. Lower that leg all the way down. From here, bend both those knees. So again, they're stacked over each other. Good, and we're gonna take our forearm onto the mat. Top hand can remain on the hip. All we're gonna do is lift those hips, engage that oblique, and then let it lower right back down. So again, press all the way up, squeeze that side body, let it lower, melt, tap the mat, and repeat. Lower that hip all the way down. Now we're coming up to a full side plank. So go ahead and press that right palm into the mat, both legs stacked over each other. As you press through that arm, extend the legs. One leg is tapped over the other. Take that top arm all the way to the ceiling. From here, we're gonna twist. Take that arm underneath, good between your body and that right arm, and then lift it right back up. So we're doing a little twist. So engage that oblique, take that arm between your body and your right arm, and then lift it right back up where you started. Good, and let's finish with that arm all the way up. Bend the knees, rest your hip, and we're gonna swing our legs around to do everything on the other side, starting with that glute work. So as you lay on the side of your body, again, you're gonna start with that arm either out 
or you could have that hand right on your head to help keep it propped up. Knees are bent and stacked over each other. And first movement here, we're gonna start to lift that right leg up, squeeze that side glute, and then let it lower and melt down. So lift, hold for a second to feel that squeeze before you lower. Top hand can be on the hip to make sure we're not rotating too far back or too far forward with the hips. We wanna stay stacked the whole time. Lower that leg, same leg. We're just gonna extend it out forward in front of you. And we're gonna take it straight up, squeeze that glute. Same thing, let it lower to hover over that bottom leg. So lift, squeeze that side, and then let it melt down. When you live, there's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in, I know it's true. I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice my walls come down Boy you are the only thing I want Good. Keep it hovered over that bottom leg, a little circles with that toe So like you're making an O, keep it small, squeeze that glute Nice work you guys, keep it forward in front of you Last part for this glute Lower that leg down. Now we're gonna do that inner thigh work. So again, you can keep that arm there or just take it straight out, whatever feels best. But we're gonna extend that bottom leg, bend that right knee, take the foot forward in front of you. Top hand can go on the mat or stay on the hip. And we're gonna lift that left leg up. So the bottom leg, squeeze the inner thigh, let it lower and melt to hover over that mat. Bend those knees again. Let's come all the way up on that forearm. Take your top hand back on your hip. Now keeping those legs st stacked, we're gonna work that oblique. So lift the hips up and off the mat, squeeze that side body, let it lower, tap the hips back on the mat. So lift, squeeze that side, and then let it lower and melt. Lower the hips down. Now we're coming into that full side plank. So now press that left palm into the mat. Both legs will be straight as you lift the hips up. Keep that top leg right over that bottom leg. Take your top hand all the way to the sky. Now we're gonna twist that body. Reach that top hand between your body and your left arm. And then come right back up. Reach that hand back to where you started. So really twist through that body. Engage that oblique and then lift back where we started. Keep that arm up, slowly rest the hip, bend those knees. Now, same thing, face whatever side you would like to. We're gonna go into our teaser hold. So stay seated on the mat. Good, how I like to start is taking both hands behind me. You can softly bend through those elbows. Now we're naturally hinged back. Take that left leg to a tabletop, right leg to a tabletop. From here, now you can reach that left hand forward, right hand forward into that teaser. Hold that hinge, keep that core activated. Look forward, good. And if you wanna make this more challenging, you can extend your legs straight or you
could even extend the legs and have the arms by the ears for our full teaser. Find what progression feels best for you and go into that movement. If you want to stay where we started with knees bent, that will work as well. Try not to let those legs fall. Stay nice and still in this position. those feet sit all the way up all right you guys sit forward you can cross your legs keep your right hand on the mat take your left arm all the way up and just side bend over towards the side of your mat you can let that forearm drop onto the mat as you hold here and then lift that body switch. We're gonna take our left hand down, right arm all the way up, side bend the other direction. You can place your forearm on the mat and again, hold it there. And then let's come all the way back up to a seated position. All right, good job, you guys. You did wonderful today. That was our advanced Pilates flow. You should be so proud of yourself for getting through that class. If you want to see more like that, comment below and let me know. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Come back next week for an ab and waist workout. And again, great work, and we'll see you next time.